y'all welcome back to my channel it is your girl essence of shay until i get like draws and stuff like that y'all always gonna see clothes on the floor like don't judge me <laughs> we're gonna have chips and dip because it's too early for lituations honey Every episode, I've been getting real and honest with you guys because that's the whole point of these conversations. Sooner or later, I'm going to have meetups and like events where this is live. <clears throat> and we'll have other speakers there as well. Until then, it is just me. So, um, I, I remember recording a video about always being friend zoned and I don't know if I posted the video or I just like said nah I don't need people to be knowing that I'm always friend zoned but if you haven't already check out my podcast with my good friend um it's called the locked in we spoke briefly about that but I wanted to talk up to you about it even more because while talking about it, I realized that I'm not the only one who goes through this, obviously. But nobody really talks about it. So nobody knows. You feel me? A friend of mine, um, and I noticed I was in this situation too. So we're just going to have like an open dialect, right? So imagine that there are two girls and a guy. <clears throat> what are we gonna name this guy? Stefan. Am I gonna remember that name? In August, met Tracy. Tracy and him started doing business together. They started, um, that's how the, the friendship started because they started collabing on business things. Then, once it, they got comfortable with each other, they moved on to more of a like hanging out thing, but not like romantic, just like as friends. They realized that they kind of hang around in the same circle. Like the people that they know, know each other. So they're always around each other, especially at like events and stuff like that, right? So they have been cultivating this friendship for, let's say, August. So we're now in November. So September, October, November, three months. They've been cultivating <clears throat> this relationship. Because a friendship is a relationship, right? Here comes Emily. So Emily and Stefan meet on social media because that's how all the kids meet, honey. And they met on some business stuff as well. But the difference was is that Emily and Stefan are not in the same city. They're not in the same place at all. They speak briefly on social media, but nothing crazy. When Emily, when Emily moves to the the city where Stefan and what is this girl's name? I already forgot what the girl's name is. See, I can't tell stories. So her name is now Trisha because I don't remember what I said before. So now Emily moves to the city as to where Stefan and Trisha is. This has been a plan in motion and Stefan has been helping her like find places to live and all this stuff. Now, Stefan is excited because Emily is here and he hasn't meet her face to face. So they link up and they start hanging up and they immediate hanging out and they immediately vibed together. Right? They and since that day that they vibe, they hung out, they've spoken to each other every single day after that. Whether brief or long conversations, but they've spoken every single day. They've even... <coughs> 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 
they've even gotten real personal with the information that they tell each other like things that people around them or close to them or friends don't even know right stefan and trisha are still a good in a good friendship they go to church with the same crew of people they go to like events with the same crew of people and they always happen to be with each other they talk with each other on the phone everything Stefan and Emily are starting to get close because they're with each other all the time but they had a conversation with each other stating that they're not looking for a relationship per se but if it happens they're not gonna run from it does that make sense like you know when you look for things it probably won't be the best thing for you but if you just let it happen then it'll just happen that's what they said with each other but they were still able to date people if they wanted to they haven't made it exclusive yet because they just met each other so that would be a little fast right stefan and trisha now have decided that you know we always hang around each other so we're gonna go out on a date Technically, some might consider they have already been on dates because they're always going to events and galas and all these things with each other. So, but I guess on a romantic tip, this is different. Here comes the kicker. <laughs> Stefan and Emily have spoken about business and how uh, Emily wants to advance her creative spirit and all this stuff. So Stefan gives her a few people who can help. One of them being Trisha. This was technically, I guess, before him and Trisha decided they were going to go on a date. Emily reaches out to Trisha and gets everything all squared away and loves Trisha's mind and whatnot. And they just vibe, I guess, right? So now they're going to be a business relationship between Emily and Trisha. Stefan in the background see this is happening but have yet to say anything. When Emily brings up um, a, say, a similar situation with her friend like what went on with her friend Stefan then decides to say well you know we're always honest with each other right? Well I kind of am in the same situation and Emily is like how like what's up what happened because they always have these deep conversations and like figure shit out so this is nothing different <coughs> Stefan says well you know Trisha right me and her decide that we're gonna uh, go on a date coming coming soon Emily is flabbergasted because she's like, wait, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. How long has this been going on? And why would you introduce Emily and Trisha when you know you are technically dating both of them? <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with dating people, but why the hell would you date two people who are starting to learn and know and build something with each other. Stefan's answer is, well, I didn't know that you would have chose Trisha out of all the people that I showed you. What was it? What? What was it? I didn't know that <clears throat> I would be in this situation with you. But did you know you would be in this situation with Trisha. Did you? What do y'all think? Do y'all think that Stefan knew after spending so much time with Trisha that there was a possibility that that may have happened? So why would he have introduced Emily to Trisha? Emily says, you know what? I think it's really effed up that you did that, but I think is more effed up if 
I continue to work with Trisha or if I go work with Trisha because the whole situation is going to be hella awkward because we are both talking to Stefan. That's what Emily is saying, right? Does that make sense? Was she wrong in that end? Stefan, of course, says, I understand what you're saying. I apologize. I didn't think it would turn into this. Um, I didn't think you and I would be vibing like that. Um, I didn't, it's just a lot. I just didn't know. So I do apologize and I understand what you're saying. Not once did he say, <clears throat> no, you should continue working with her because it's not, we just start, like, we don't even know what it's going to be or anything like that. Or I understand what you're saying, but what Stefan does do is give her a, not a list of, of other people that she can now work with. <laughs> Stefan says, even though I met <clears throat> Trisha three months ago, and technically I met you around the same time, but me and her hang out with each other as opposed to you, Emily, was not anywhere around, right? Even though I've been building this with like a business and a friendship with Trisha, my vibe for Trisha is the same level as my vibe for you. This is how it gets tricky. Stefan only sees Emily in the afternoon, uh, for a few hours or an hour, runs off. Um, Usually goes out when it's nighttime, rarely in the day. But with Stefan and Trisha, <clears throat> they go out, they're with at events, maybe not with each other, but they're in the same like group. Recently, they actually did go to eat a big event with each other. They go to church with each other. They do all these things. Meanwhile, he says the vibe for Trisha and Emily is the same. <clears throat> My question to you guys, once hearing this story, repeating this story, saying it back to y'all, I'm sitting here thinking that there is no way that it seems like Emily and Trisha are on the same the same level. It seems like Trisha is like up here, Emily is here, and Stefan is not even giving Emily a chance. You know what I'm saying? He's not giving her a chance. And a lot of times I notice that with women especially, we want someone so bad or we like someone so bad or we just don't want to be alone that we sit here and deal with bullshit. Like, signs are there. Signs are all there. But will Emily continue uh, with this charade, knowing good and goddamn well that Stefan don't want her like that? He actually has made his choice? Because I feel like what Stefan could have did it was like, if he's building with Emily and him and Trisha are friends and Emily wants to now work with Trisha why did it seem as though Stefan was trying his hardest not to get Emily and Trisha to work anymore and continue what he's doing with Trisha instead of being like you know what yes I could date a whole bunch of people but maybe I shouldn't date Trisha or I should something you got, or Emily or whoever you got what I'm saying so like I said we get into like things the whole point of this story is that we get into situations that are telling us what we should do but because we don't want to be alone and we don't want um we see these uh, Instagram couples and the crush that you like, you see him or her out there vibing and just having a time of their life without you. 
you would do any and anything to just keep them around even if it is losing self-respect for yourself like not having it because at the end of the day Stefan don't respect Emily because now her feelings are involved come on y'all feelings are involved and it seems as though Stefan has made his choice, but he's keeping Emily around just in case him and Trisha don't work out. What y'all think? I personally believe that is on a case by case basis. Like it just depends. Like, do you is this something that you actually want to deal with? Are you going to wait it out to see if he'll choose you over her? Do you think Trisha even knows about Emily? And even if she does, do you think she even cares? Because she sees him all the time. She sees the phone all the time. What do y'all think Emily is going to do? Me, I'm a hopeless romantic, so I always I always believe that the person who you guys, who you, people don't think is going to win is going to win. And that happens to be my, uh, my flaw a lot of the times. That's why I stay in relationships that I have no business staying in. Because I'm a hopeless romantic. I love love. I love the idea of love. I just love it. Love, love, lovey, love, love. But... Be it, with that being said, that jades my mind. It does. Anyways, y'all, if you guys enjoyed <laughs> enjoy videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also put in the comment box below your thoughts of this story. This is a true story, y'all. And yes, it happened to my friend. And yes, it happened to me as well. And, um... I'm going to see if y'all can figure out what my decision was when I realized that happened to me. Um, and this happens to a lot of people. And it don't even have to be the dude who caused it. It could be the girl. So don't leave, leave thinking that it's just a sexist thing. No, it could be either sex. Girls are trifling too. <laughs> um, yeah. So... I will talk to you guys later. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles. Crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the curve.